It's a heavyweight showdown between Khabib Nurmagomedov and smiling Sam Alvey. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon, DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked into AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always, listen, although he spoke no English, he was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all... It was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 33 wins, 17 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, smiling Sam Alvey. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda! All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, we have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, nice job to land a straight punch.
much there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Good punch land. Oh, big elbow. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans. Not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old doggy. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Lands a big elbow there. Knee to the body. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Nermago Meta. Nice hook. Oh, big elbow. Oh! He's giving him so many different things right now. Unable to connect there. Well, that won't feel good in the morning. Big uppercut. Trying to establish that jab once again. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. He needs to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damn. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Magomedov's going for the arm submission. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. the win by submission, beautifully executed there on the ground. it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Habib the Eagle, well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.